Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Gent Sense. We can go ahead and call it. We can call it right now the best looking bottle, designer fragrance wise, of the entire year is this one. Light Blue Summer Vibes. Whew. It's sexy. Oh man, it looks awesome. But the bottle, that's that's not the whole story, is it? No, it has to smell good as well. So let's go ahead and check out the new Light Blue Summer Vibes. I'll have this one linked in the description below, guys. And this one full retail is gonna cost you $106. That is for the size that I have right here in my hands, 4.2 fluid ounces. I bought my bottle from Kohl's. And I think technically it's actually Sephora selling through Kohl's, but for whatever reason, I could order it off Kohl's, but on Sephora it was showing not available. So yeah, weird. As always guys, pause the video now if you want codes for Twisted Lily, Soul Von Card, Max Aroma, or Lucky Scent. Save yourself a little money. So obviously Light Blue Summer Vibes is the newest summer limited edition. They come out with one of these every single year for Dolce & Gabbana, and some of them have been huge hits, fragrances that got a lot of love. And actually for me on a personal level, the last couple Light Blues have been some of my absolute favorites, Light Blue Forever and Light Blue Italian Love. They have huge citrus openings, very natural smelling uh, citrus openings, especially for a designer fragrance. Forever was just a blast of grapefruit, which some people didn't dig, but I thought was amazing and my wife was absolutely in love with it. Then they came out with Italian Love, which still had a very similar citrus opening, but dialed back a little bit, made more wearable for more people. But maybe you're one of the people out there who don't dig those last couple light blue flankers, who don't like citrus in that way. Well. Is Summer Vibes gonna be better for you? Let's check out the presentation, then we'll talk about the scent. So here you have the box, and again, I think it looks awesome. I think it's absolutely beautiful. You have the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration right there on the front. Eau de Toilette, 125 mil size. Little DG up top. This design wraps all the way around the box. On the back, you have your ingredient info and on the bottom, your badge code and barcode. My full badge code, A02402. And here is the bottle. <laughs> and it really does look like a little piece of porcelain. It isn't, but it looks like it. So you have the name of the fragrance, name of the house right there on the front again, that design all the way around the bottle. And on the bottom, you have a sticker with your badge code and the cap does click into place, like so. You know what time it is, time to share a couple sprays. Here we go. It's uh, it's your standard light blue atomizer. They're okay, but they're not great. Now I brought this up when they first announced this fragrance and I saw the presentation for the first time. They changed the cap style. They changed it back to the older style of cap, but they did also change the bottle size. This is 125 mils and Italian Love, which came out last year is 100 mils. So you do get more fragrance for your money. And these are both Eau de Toilettes. So it's not like Italian Love was an Eau de Parfum and this is an Eau de Toilette and that's why there's the difference. No, they went back to the older style uh, light blue presentation. Now I do think cap wise that the cap on Italian Love looks classier than the cap that they have on Summer Vibes, but ultimately that's not a big deal. And these caps obviously are made to fit each different bottle size. So even if we try to do a little experiment here and transplant the cap, it doesn't really sit flush. And I think actually looking at it, because it doesn't sit flush, it doesn't really match color wise either. That uh, maybe I'll just have to eat it and say I was wrong and that this old style cap matches this bottle a little better. All right, so Summer Vibes, it came in today. I've been wearing it today, so this is just a glorified first impression. It's not like a big review where I've been wearing it out all over the place for the past two weeks or something. How does it smell? Does this smell like a new version, a new iteration of Italian Love slash Light Blue Forever? Does it continue on? in that style with that big citrus opening. Well, they brought Alberto Marias on for this one, for Summer Vibes, and I can tell you, no, it doesn't smell anything like Italian love. It doesn't smell anything like Life Blue Forever. 
So if you don't like those previous couple of releases, you can breathe a sigh of relief. It doesn't smell like those even though I actually like those a lot. So Summer Vibes, as soon as I sprayed it on, I was like, okay, I know what they're doing here, I get it. They're going back, they're going back to the roots of light blue. So when you smell this, it is immediately apparent that it is much closer to the original light blue or light blue oh intense. It's like following up on these and pretending that the last few flankers they didn't happen. So light blue sun, light blue Italian love, light blue forever. Nah, we're going back to light blue and also actually swimming in La Party. It's, it's kind of similar to that one too. So basically these three here, swimming in La Party, light blue O intense and the original light blue. If you like those a lot, then you're probably really going to enjoy this one because this is in that same style. When you first spray light blue summer vibes on, you do get a little bit of lemon and it smells like there's a touch of ginger in there too. You know, just a little hint of fresh spice underneath the lemon. The lemon is nowhere near as prominent as the citrus has been in the last number of releases actually, because the last, I would say at least four Light blue flankers have all had a big, huge citrus opening. Maybe they've approached the citrus a little bit differently. Light blue sun and light blue Italian zest definitely had a different approach to the citrus than forever and Italian love did, but they all had a, a big citrus blast. This one, you get a little spritz of lemon. It's very bright, very bright and fresh, but it's not super sweet. It doesn't really have that tanginess, that bitterness, that rindiness, none of that. Just a quick hit of lemon and a little fresh spiciness, not too much. And then it really quickly settles down to more of an aromatic take on light blue. So it's going to be a little bit more green. That cypress, very prominent. You can pick it up quite easily. And I would say that's going to be one of the main differentiators, if not the main differentiator uh, of this one compared to the other light blues that I brought up that it smells similar to, like O Intense or Swimming in Lapari. Swimming in Lapari is going to be a little bit sweeter and it's gonna be a little more sea salty, kind of aquatic. O Intense, kind of a similar deal, more salty, actually more citrus in the O Intense and uh, a little more aquatic in that one as well, actually. So those have their, you know, slightly different lean and this one goes more toward that aromatic uh, green edge. As it dries down, the amber wood comes out, you know, sort of a warm ambroxony uh, sort of clean woodiness. You do get specklings of sea salt in there, even though it's not a, a note, you can pick up little bits of that here. It definitely imparts that classic light blue feeling way more than the last light blue releases. And as I said, as soon as I sprayed Summer Vibes on, I was like, okay, this immediately reminds me of O Intense and the original. If you're familiar with those fragrances, then as soon as you spray this on, you're gonna be like, okay, it's a light blue, no question about it. Whereas with some of the more recent ones, if you like, let's say, hadn't smelled a light blue fragrance since O Intense with Forever or Italian Love, or even sun, you might spray those on and, and somebody would ask you, well, what do you think this is a part of? What line do you think it's a part of? And you really may not know. You'd be like, I could be, it could be a bunch of them, man. I'm not sure. But with this, when you smell it, it's like, oh, light blue. It's light blue. So you're gonna get, you know, some pros and some cons there. And it really depends on what your personal taste is. So for my wife, for example, I had her smell it and she was like, oh, it reminds me of the uh, the original. That's the one that she thought of at first. And I asked how much she liked it and she was like nowhere near as much as the last few. So for her, she definitely put Summer Vibes below Italian Love, below Forever, below Sun. For me, I do like the opening of Italian Love and Forever more. That's something I really enjoy, but I like summer vibes too. I think it's really nice. A great vacation fragrance, a great casual fragrance that also has that little edge of formality to it. I think it does that very, very well. Easy to wear, it dries down very smoothly in the sense that it's very cohesively done. Nothing here sticks out. It's, it's very easy, easy to pull off. For full retail, is it worth a pickup? 
Well, honestly, it's not priced all that bad at full retail compared to uh, what a lot of things are going for nowadays because you do get 125 milliliters. So you get a little bit more than usual, 106 bucks. That's not a bad price, really. Again, compared to what a lot of things are retailing for. You see fragrances designers come out all the time nowadays that are retailing for you know, $125, $130, $140. And then you get some that are way above that. So we're talking right at about 100 bucks for 125 mils. It's pretty good. I don't regret that at all. Of course, it should hit discounters and then come down a little bit further, which is going to make it very attractive. Uh, at that point, I think it'd be a really solid summertime fragrance for a lot of people. I will say uh, the excitement level of the fragrance itself of Summer Vibes doesn't match up to the excitement level of the presentation or the quality level, because you look at that and you're like, dang, that is good looking. Especially when you compare it to like this flanker here, Swimming in Lapari. The old flankers, they didn't have too much going on, did they? So this looks way better than this. But then when you smell this, does it smell necessarily way higher quality or way more exciting than swimming in Lapari? Uh, not really. Both very wearable, very usable. Great workhorse spring summertime fragrances. I would say that nowadays I'd rather wear summer vibes than uh, swimming in Lapari. So there is that. Overall, for me personally, uh, summer vibes, I don't like as much as forever. I don't like it as much as Italian love. Oh, intense, I have worn much more. So I've got more of like a history with that one, if you want to call it. But I could see summer vibes being right around there. You know, it's it's uh, it's one that I would absolutely pick over the original light blue, easy. I would take it over swimming in Lapari. I would take it over Italian zest. I would take it over love is love. I would take it over just about everything <laughs> other than Italian love forever and, and probably oh intense. So it's right in there. Now, I can't really talk to you guys about performance uh, because this is the first day that I've worn it. So I'll do a review on this later and uh, kind of do an update on that. And as far as seasonality, spring, summertime, daytime, <laughs> That's uh, what these are always made for, isn't it? So there we go, Summer Vibes, like I said, put a fork in it. This is the designer presentation of the year, unless something else comes out that is just absolutely stunning. But I feel like this is, this is gonna be the winner. Fragrance itself, I like it. Little bit redundant maybe, but still classy, easy to wear. All right, that'll do it for me, Summer Vibes. Thanks for hanging with me. If you smelled that one, let me know what you think about it. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. I'll see you later.